Hey guys, it's Lord here, back again with another review on a whim. Uh, Dad walked into Walmart this morning and found this guy. It is Thursday as the time of recording this, but it is Friday. It's the time of the video's uh, public uh, viewing. <laughs> and it'll be uploaded on Friday, obviously. <clears throat> But yes, uh, today we're having a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Monsters and Mutants, Mutants and Monsters. I'm having a brain fart, even though I already posted four videos about it. So, um, yeah, today we're looking at Monster Hunter Raft. Now, I will say, I really like this figure. I just opened him about ten minutes ago, and uh, he's really cool. Uh, he comes with this crossbow here. Which is okay. It could be a little better. Not too flimsy. Uh, I do like that. It looks like it's got a trigger up here. But they put the handle here and here. Interesting. So I wonder if you can actually get this. In his hand the right way. Because it's kind of got like a blunderbuss handle. Yeah there you go. But. Pretty much it's just going to be in like a downward position. Or something like that. Because he's not going to be able to get this in two hands. With the limited articulation he has. Um, you know, if you could turn it. If his wrist hinged, then you might be able to get it. But you're not going to get it that way. I'd say maybe. And just maybe. If you had his hand on this back handle here. Yeah, it's it's not a. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, idealistically, that's how you would hold this. There would not be a handle up here. So, uh, kind of poo poo on the crossbow, but it looks good. And if he had more articulation, you'd probably get him to hold it. Um, I will say this: his coat. I wasn't crazy about it at first, but I actually am starting to like it. And it is two pieces, so it's got this piece and then this piece. So I'm going to pop his head off here. Because it should be the standard ball peg. And see if removing the upper part looks any better. Now it just looks like he doesn't have a collar, but... You get the picture. Um, it looks kind of alright like that. But the collar definitely added something to it. If this had a molded collar on it, I'd just be using this. Other than that, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the harder of the two to get off. Um, maybe. Because I know for a fact... Yeah, maybe you can just pull the thing off, but... At the end of the day, he's got um, his uh, jacket sleeves. So, idealistically, you could probably get this off. You just have to be very courteous. Um, but with all the stuff out of the way, even lifting his arms up, I suppose, to their maximum height. we can get a good look at what he's uh, packing down here and that's not what I meant by that <laughs> uh, he's got a belt which is a separate piece he actually has holsters that work for his size but they didn't give you any size so um, may need to go pick up a raft figure to fill that so uh that kind of sucks. I got the Super Shredder one, but it'd be weird to give him black size. Uh, one of the things I like is he's got this uh, little garlic dealy do hanging off his belt. I wouldn't yank on this <coughs> because it is kind of small and it does have a lot of wiggle room, so uh, it could tear. And then he's got this uh, strap of uh, stakes mounted to his uh, hip here. So yeah. Um, but that kind of does suck. To, there is a spot to put size. You just can't put... You didn't get any size to put there. 
I don't think you can pop his belt down and get them in. You probably could. Yeah, I think it's glued in place somewhere. But, um... Yeah, with that being said, uh... This figure actually is pretty good. Pop his head in. And, uh, at first I thought his head was gonna be buried. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on today. Something in the air. I thought his head was going to be constantly buried by his collar, but it's not. And uh, I like that a lot. So, um, with that being said, there he is. Let me, uh, get him over there. We'll just give him his crossbow, I suppose. Let's see if he can't hold on to it, uh, the front piece. Because I think his crossbow is kind of long. Also... It looks like it belongs to, like, a six-inch figure. I kind of like it like that. I don't know. And we'll bring him uh, himself, for lack of a better term. Because it's funny, they made Wrath the Vampire as well. Um, they're the same height, which is good. Uh, but, yeah, I'm curious if the stake would fit in the holster in the back. Uh, especially this one, because it just looks like a straight up... It's a steak. That's all it is. It's a straight up steak. So I wonder if... There's some finagling here. Try not to make this too long. It's only at six minutes. We're pretty much set. I guess you gotta pop his head off. I'm actually going to try that, so I'm just going to shut the camera off for a moment and see if I can't get that to work. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so as you can see, those are not even close to being as big as that. I mean, you can stick the end of it in there, but it ain't going to fit. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't just give him the vampire rafts size that look like steaks. Um... But I think it's kind of cheesy they gave uh, Raph just a crossbow and uh, Leonardo got like everything and more. <laughs> he got his, um, his, uh, katanas and his, um, he got the place to put them, which is like just a sheath that pegged into his back and, yeah, so... That kind of sucks. Raph kind of got the short end of the the bow staff here, but even though that's Donatello pun, um, he is still pretty cool looking. There we go. So I figured I'd save you guys the pain of watching me struggle with that, and uh, just cut it <laughs> so it's a little shorter. I don't know where I put that. He can still hold the stake, though. You just stick it in there, and you can go shank somebody. So I guess, if anything, you can at least use this and the other side with him. You just can't store him in the back, which kind of sucks. So I may have to find a raft figure or someone willing to get rid of some size. Um... And see if I can't get uh, some size for this guy. Because I would like to have some, considering there is a place to put them. Uh, which I'm surprised they did. I mean, the belt's not exactly an old mold either. It's got this on it. So they shelled out money for a new mold. They're just not uh, giving you anything to do with it. So, uh, again, kind of sucks. But at the end of the day, it's not too, too bad. I still like the figure. He'll probably be my favorite of the uh, Monster Hunters. I still think uh, the Vampire Raph is my favorite out of the entire line. If you haven't been able to tell, I really like Raphael. Um, he was my favorite ever since I was a wee lad in the early 2000s. Yeah, I ain't that old. And, um, yeah, I must say, I'm going to give this guy a 9 out of 10. Just because it would have been nice if he came with a size. But even if he didn't, I still like the figure the second I open him. Uh, Vampire Raft took some time to grow, grow on me. 
because of his daggum little bat friend never wanting to stay on. But I somehow managed to get him to stay. If you didn't notice earlier, even if you did, there it is again. His sigh acts as a really good thing to keep him in place. So, that being said, for the sixth time, Oh, redundancy reviews. <laughs> Again, 9 out of 10 for this guy. And uh, yeah, until next time, uh, hopefully I'll find Leonardo. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. I miss my cue. Oh well. <laughs>